Hey guys, how you doing? This is Paul, and today I'm going to be telling you guys all about VPNs. What they are, what they're used for, and why you should probably be using one. So I first heard of a VPN a couple years ago when I was looking for a way to bypass my school Wi-Fi firewall. So my school has restrictions on all sorts of different websites like shopping portals, social media sites, blogs, and a lot more. And it was just really annoying because if I wanted to check something throughout the day, I couldn't do that. So I heard some people talking about how they were able to use a VPN to bypass the firewall. And that was exactly what I was looking to do. So I decided to do a little bit of my own research to find out how VPNs work and what exactly they do. So I found that a VPN basically allows you to use your own connection to remotely connect to another private network. And that's exactly what VPN actually stands for, Virtual Private Network. And this is useful for a number of different reasons, but primarily for security and privacy. By accessing that private network via an encrypted connection, it does a few things. First, everything you do on the internet is encrypted and secured to ensure your privacy. So for example, if you're using a public Wi-Fi network at a coffee shop or something like that, your data would not be able to be intercepted by hackers on the same network. Second, everything will be kept hidden from your internet service provider. And third, it tricks the internet into thinking that you're located wherever the VPN server is actually located. So this might sound a little confusing right now, but I think it's gonna make a lot more sense when I show you guys how it's used with a real VPN service. So the VPN that I use is NordVPN, and they actually sponsored this video, but I wanted to emphasize that they have no input as to what I say in this video, and my opinions about the service are entirely my own. NordVPN is one of the most reputable VPNs out there, and it's been recommended by a number of different leading tech and VPN websites, including PC Mag, VPN Mentor, and Best VPN. NordVPN has over 1,000 servers in 61 different countries that you can choose to connect to. And one of the best things about them is that they're located in Panama, which has no data retention laws, meaning that they won't give up your data even if someone tries to demand it from them. But even better is that NordVPN doesn't even data log in the first place, so you'll never have to worry about your information getting into somebody else's hands. So NordVPN works on almost all platforms, Windows, Mac, Android, and iPhone and I've tested it on Mac and iPhone and it works fine on both platforms without any bugs or anything like that and on both platforms I'm able to get it up and running with just the click of a button you can easily browse through the over 1,000 servers and select which one you want to connect to so as I mentioned earlier by connecting to these servers the internet will think that you're actually located where the server is so for example if you go on vacation somewhere and want to watch Netflix shows exclusive to the US, you could connect to one of the US VPNs and the internet would recognize you as if you were in the United States. And this is how VPNs are able to get past firewalls like my school Wi-Fi. But on a much larger scale, NordVPN can even bypass the Great Firewall of China, which blocks websites like Facebook, Twitter, and even YouTube. Now some VPN providers will automatically cancel your subscription if they detect that you've been peer-to-peer -peer sharing or torrenting files. Now I'm not trying to promote illegal downloading, but NordVPN does allow file sharing and it stands behind all of its users and it even has certain servers dedicated to file sharing if you're interested in that. If you need even more security over the already military grade encryption, Nord also offers double data encryption, meaning your usage would be filtered through two servers instead of one. Another really useful feature is the automatic kill switch, which you can set up to automatically close any programs if the VPN turns off for any reason. So for example, if you're on a public Wi-Fi network and don't want Chrome to be open without the VPN on, then you can set it up to automatically close Chrome if for some reason the VPN turns off. So all of these features I talked about are exactly why NordVPN is recognized as one of the best VPNs out there. And if you click the link in the description below and use the coupon code PAUL at checkout, you can get up to 70% off your first two year subscription, bringing the price down to just $3.29 per month. 
but the best part is that if for some reason you decide that you don't want it anymore, it comes with a 30 day money back guarantee, so there's practically no risk in trying it out. So I hope this video taught you guys a little bit more about VPNs. I know they can sound a little intimidating and overwhelming at first, but at least with NordVPN, it's a lot easier than it sounds, and it's one of the best ways to make sure that you're being safe online. So thank you guys so much for watching, and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for some more content coming soon. Thanks!